let's draw angles using a protractor. Students get confused because you have the inside numbers and the outside numbers. And this video is going to clear that up for you. So all I've done here is drawn my lines ready to draw these angles. And I just used the width of the protractor for this. Because in these questions, it just wants you to draw the angle. It's not bothered about the size of the line. So all I do is put your protractor on the edge of the line like this. Don't put it up like this or like this or down here. Make sure it's lined up there. See, you call, I like to call this as the crosshair. Like in gaming, put your crosshair right there. And you can see it's all nice and lined up. You always start from zero, okay? So you start from zero and we're drawing 60. So start from zero all around to 60. Mark off 60 like so and then join it up. And that is a 60 degree angle. Okay, all right, next one. So we're drawing 85, same process again. Line up your crosshair like this. Always start from zero. A lot of students ask me inside or outside. Just start from zero on the line. Zero, all the way around to 85. Mark it off. And then join it up. And you can see that one is 85. And the next one, 130. Same again. Start from here. Start from zero. And then go all the way around. That's 130, which is there. And then draw it like so. All right, last one. Start from the end here. Always oh, start from zero. You could start from that side. Wouldn't matter, but as long as you start from zero, that's what counts. So from zero, all the way around to 170, which is over here. So we go into that one a little bit, which is fine. And there you go. Now, we're going to look at drawing some angles where the angle is bigger than 180, and they're called reflex angles, okay? We're going to look at drawing some of those where it gets a little bit more challenging. Now we're going to look at what you do when the angles are larger than 180. Because as you can see, on the protractor, it only goes up to 180. So you're probably thinking, how on earth do you draw a 200 degree angle? It only involves one more step. So you should know, in a circle, there's 360 degrees. So if we do 360 minus 200, that gets us 160. So what we're going to do now is draw a 160 degree angle. So we put our protractor here at zero, go all the way around to 160, which is over here, and mark off 160. And then, you see this angle here is 160, but this angle is 200. And that's all you have to do. As long as in the question you mark off that like this is the angle you try to draw, that's absolutely fine. Okay, same thing this next one. If you want to have a go yourself, pause it and have a go at the video. Have a go at the question even. Right, so you should know 360 degrees in a circle. So let's do 360 minus 300, which equals 60. So I'm going to draw a 60 degree angle. So I'll start from zero, follow it around to 60, and then join it up. Mark it off. So that is 60. Well, then this one is the angle I wanted to draw which will be 300. There you go. These other methods to do that, but I think this is the easiest one. Okay? So I hope that has cleared using a protractor because it is a skill that a lot of students struggle with. This has been Master Jacko. Take care. I'll see you next time.